season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time always gonna be the best. Come on. Exclusively on the Parkville Network. Right. Usually when we have guests and stuff on, um, we both kind of know what we're going to be talking about with guests. But mm-hmm. this time you set up um, guests that you, uh, you said that I will be very happy to talk to. I'll yeah. be very excited about what they're talking to us about. Yeah. And it makes me very nervous. Yeah, Laura, Laura, like I said, she's been with us. And we'll have to double check how long, but she's been with us for a long time. And um, she sent me a note just in the last few days. And I said, oh, my God, when can we talk? Because her husband did something that you, I think part of you is going to be jealous. Um, but you're also going to be excited because now you're going to know somebody that's done something you really want to do. And we'll be talking to them here in just a few Super minutes. Super pumped. Yeah. So we'll have Laura and Justin on with us. In the midst of all this, too, they're moving. I mean, it's like they're, they're taking some Ugh. time out. They, I think like they're moving out today or tomorrow, you know, of the, the place that they're in. And so it's it's really a super yeah, exciting time for them amidst all on. this other crap. Yeah. Although you have to say, if you're going to move while you're, you know, it's like you can't go to work. What are you going to do? Um, uh, and, and people are still moving. I mean, that's, I know we, we kind of questioned that earlier about what was going on with people in the real estate business. Cause I'm sure it's hard for them, uh, you know, as far as showing houses, of course, but we've got so much technology now you can show a house to somebody, but you know what it is. You yeah. still want to walk inside. It's kind of like, I always, I always went like, wow, that's really cool. When somebody said that they, well, but they were buying their car online. Mm-hmm. Remember, you know, there are a couple of tar- car dealers we'd worked with that were doing this five, 10 years ago. And we're helping people yeah. to find cars online. And, and in particular, like working with military who had family in Omaha and they were around the world somewhere and they'd check in online and they'd pick out the vehicle with what they wanted on it and took care with, of it. And it was so weird 10 years ago. And now they yeah. have the Carvana has the vending machines. I for still want to do that, so but I'm I, stuck right? in a lease. Right. I so, I so want to, well, as I'm thinking, that looks so cool. I know. I know. Can you I like know. change them out every once in a while? I don't know. Or? That's a good question. I would love to have. Like a, well, yes and no. <clears throat> the the timeshare type thing on a car where you don't have to keep it for three years, but maybe you buy into a deal where you get a car for six months. They, yeah, I mean, and they then have you can those trade out to thing? something else. I don't think it is. Oh. Um, but something like that. Because you, you have to remember, like, back when uh, every once in a while we'd work with one of the car dealers, and so you get to drive a different vehicle. That's great if you don't live in your car, mm-hmm. and I kind of live in my car. And so it was yeah. like upheaval every time I got a different vehicle. Oh, even, and yeah, even first if you don't problem, live know, in your car, it's, <clears throat> you still have this, the, the place where you have the chapstick, the this, you know, it's in the glove box. <laughs> and getting into yeah. a car like that or oh. even a, like a rental, you just feel so just odd. It's just off. Out of bait or out of shape just for a yeah, couple of days. Yeah, a little but, bit. But anyway, yeah, so we've got that conversation coming up with them. That's going to be, um, I'm excited yep, to see what this is all about. Yeah, very excited. Um, Jack has a lot going on in his life right now. He's a German Shepherd dog. He, um, my little pupper, he will be two in May. And <clears throat> two things. First off, family member gifted him a short-term membership, though, with BarkBox. Okay. I've which, heard of BarkBox. Right? And I'd never seen it before, never did it. And they actually contacted me to find out what kind of things he likes, if he has any allergies, what kind of chewer he is. No all way. That's stuff, cool. Right? And so his BarkBox came. And it's got three squeaky toys, nothing even close to the sound of the Wubba. Okay? I'm talking... Like in a good way or a bad way? In a really good way. Oh, much softer, not so aggressive? <laughs> oh, much quieter. Really see- quiet. Okay. <clears throat> he's okay with that until he hears the Wubba. And then he's like, well, that's what I want. There it is. That's what I'm missing. <laughs> but anyway, he's got the three squeaker toys. And it's kind of like this. And this was the Australia edition, by the way. If you're part of the Bark Box, I was very excited about this. And it's got dog treats. And he really loves all the dog treats, and they're bigger because he's a bigger dog. And uh, a couple other things were in there as well. And so yesterday, so nice out yesterday, and mm-hmm. the weather's been really decent. We're talking, we're springtime, the end of March as we speak, and um, had the back door open. And I think I told you last year that I had got one of those screen doors that mm-hmm. opens and has a little yeah. magnet that zip, 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 Yeah, they which looks so up. slick on TV. And it works really well. Yeah. It really does. And Jack just zips through it. Zips through it, zips through it, zips through it. He's, he just noses right through. The cats, of course, being like they are, they sit back about eight feet going, mm, I don't think so. I don't trust it. I wouldn't go through that. And they just So they're not yeah. interested. But all of a sudden yesterday, he's outside, and I keep looking out, and he's laying in the sun. And I'm like, cool, and I'm doing some stuff, and I check on him. He's laying in the sun. Couldn't tell anything was going on. And then all of a sudden, he comes running inside, and he goes over to his crate. He's nosing around in there, and he turns around on his heels, and back outside he goes. And he had one of his toys with him. 
So I, I walk out the door and I was like, whoa, 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 dude, where? He's got all his toys oh, in the yard. He's hoarding. He had a little pile out where he was laying in the sun. <laughs> And apparently he was moving everything out there because it was some summertime. Well, so now. It's probably like I, I wish maybe mom should come outside and get some vitamin whatever D. <laughs> but he's moved. It's like okay, the sun's out, so I'm going to move all my stuff outside now. So That's he just hilarious. it was like one toy at a time, and I didn't notice. But he had about five things out there, and then he was carrying that last little toy outside with him. He looks at me like what? Okay. So anyway, the other big thing is that because of the stuff that's going on with the quarantine, um, the doggy daycare that I take him to. Uh, they have a couple locations, and one of them they're they're going to shut for right now, and then uh, have the option for everybody to move down to their other location. So he's going to be going to a new daycare starting tomorrow. Ooh, and that's so, exciting! Uh, yeah, and this one has a pool, like a little over a foot deep, eighteen inches deep. How fun! I've seen that, and I know he likes his doggy pool, so this will be fun. And then it's got indoor and outdoor play areas. That's so, like upgrading a little bit. Yeah. Little COVID nineteen upgrade. Yeah, so we'll see how things go tomorrow. So he's going to make new me? friends. He's going to love it. And then ha- if he ever has to go back to one without a pool, <laughs> uh, you know what, buddy? Times are tough. We're going to have to downsize. No pool. <laughs> <laughs> and it might be a little rough. We'll see how it goes. Might we'll be see a little how it goes. Rough. So I'll let you know because yeah, I was just thinking, man, this is just like two things. Yesterday was like having a toddler because his toys are everywhere. His toys are everywhere in the house. And then this taking him to the new daycare. I want a tour. I want to take a look at everything. You, I, you I want are, to meet I, his new friends. I, I've said this a million times, but it is just hilarious <laughs> how our lives have are flip flopped. Exactly, mm-hmm. you're doing exactly right now with Jack what I did with the kids <laughs> mm-hmm. 15 years ago. And isn't it funny it's how similar that, that a dog or a puppy is to a toddler? Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. Sad, but a hundred percent. So absolutely, hundred percent. I'll be reporting back on that. Maybe not. In the next episode, give me a couple episodes and I'll okay after I'll your tour. How, yeah, we'll kind of see how he uh, he settles in. Well, we've uh, we've got you know everybody's doing their e learning. Yeah, e learning is uh, it's the kids are getting a hang of it. There's a schedule; they got to be logged in at certain times. But man, I am telling you, it is an absolute like a morgue around that house during the day because it's I, I'm really I've got to get when Beth gets home, she literally without even knocking opens Bennett's door because his blinds are shut. It's the middle of the day. He's got his headphones on. He looks like he's plotting something. <laughs> so she opens up <laughs> blinds and he literally hisses. <laughs> I swear to God, he'll hiss. He needs some sunlight, dude. And Sophia yesterday was at the kitchen table, wrapped up in blankets, sitting with her laptop, like look, could not look more uncomfortable. And I walked in like, hey, bud, how's it going? She goes, uh. Like, just miserable. What? Just miserable. Miserable. And she's in between sessions. So she's done with one. So she was watching something on her laptop for 20 minutes till the next one started. And it's just like, it, it's so weird. The Isn't Being out crazy? on the road, being out on the roads is so weird right now. This is, everything is just you so, everything <laughs> is just so, we're going to the stores. We talked about this before, but this whole e-learning thing, it's like, I don't, here's, here's the thing I'm wondering. <laughs> and and it, my, my kids, I had, don't have a propensity to, at least they don't, didn't to like fall into some sort of weird kind of mood depression sort of situation. But I could see that if you don't really actively help these guys stay engaged mm-hmm. with other human beings at this point, you, it could, you'll lose them hundred percent. Like you <laughs> could see that they're on the verge of cracking. Well, the funny they really part are. Is, is they're doing the e-learning and this is, this is taking school down to the bone. This is, this is basically the nut of the whole game. Because that's why you go to school is, is the learning. And yeah. that's all there. And none of the other stuff is involved. So there's none of the social activities. Yeah. There's none of the physical activities. There's none of the socializing. There's no friends to hang out with in between classes. There all that other stuff that was just uh, the dr- window dressing yeah. of the learning. Which is why it's so hard when you do e-learning. Because I know a lot of people, adults, you think, you know what? I'm going to take a blankety-blank class because I've got time. And I'm just going to do it online. This will be a piece of cake. And you're, you're just like, why do I struggle? It's because all that other stuff isn't there. Mm-hmm. You're, it's, you're fo- you have to focus yeah, just directly on that. This is all you have is look at this and to learn this stuff. And it is just so dry that that's what you got. And that's yeah. what, remember, we were talking to Matt. Uh, Matt Raz, he teaches with Creighton Prep and he's like, and he's in the media department, but he's, it's like trying to find ways to engage and to, hard. to get everybody rolling and like having that group meeting and, and just kind of joking around a little bit, kind of loosen people up because otherwise it is, it is just like 
a piece of like dry steak. It, 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 it's it, it, been reheated in the microwave. If we can get and them, if, to eat it. if we can get them through this, <laughs> if we can get them through this, all as collective going children. Going back to school. Well, they're. I think they're not only going back to school, but I think awesome. they're they're going to. Um, uh, they're not going to take stuff for granted anymore. They're not going to take the, the getting up early and going to school. Of course, after six months of that, they're going to be pissed again. But they're going to take, they're not going to take going uh, to the mall, going out to eat, going to all these little small things you could do that now you can't do. I think it's going to have this slingshot effect where kids specifically, mm-hmm. adults for sure, are definitely going to be more grateful for the small things like and that. And be excited to go do them, which yes. is going to be like, that's what's going to be the waterfall or watershed moment, actually, once this is the the, the quarantine is lifted. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you can go do whatever you want. What? Just go. Please, I'll see you in two weeks. Oh my Just God, go. this Here's is going to be 20 awesome. bucks and a couple sandwiches. See you in three days. So the e-learning stuff, are you, you're past the point, I'm guessing, of, of helping with homework? Um, pretty much or are you oh it's above my education <laughs> level all of it i mean absolutely I a friend of mine I don't even ask anymore posted yesterday something about the whole uh homeschooling e-learning kind of thing because she's got a younger and i think it's grade school maybe like fifth or fifth grade or something around there but anyway maybe a little less i don't know anyway because i don't know what year whole numbers come into the play right but anyway as uh, she says so homeschooling update <clears throat> Had to Google what a whole number is today. <laughs> Truth, man. We know. You remember what you needed to remember at the time. Mm-hmm. You get through the tests. And then whoo, brain dump. <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't even ask anymore. They don't even ask anymore because they're, they're sick of me saying, "I guys, I have no This is idea. on you. This is on you. This is all you. Do you want me to make you a sandwich? I know. I can do that <laughs> all day long. You know, and Sophia's birthday is coming up on uh, the 17th. Yeah. And there's obviously not going to be a party. And I, yesterday, I, I, I'm, I was so excited about this idea uh, th- about, hey, let's do um, a Zoom party for mm-hmm. Sophia, right? Because we can still go in the backyard and play games and stuff, the four of us. But, um, you know, just not nobody can come over. I said, you can get up to 100 people in there. We could, you could have friends attend this party from all over the country that would never be able to come to your party. And I'm like, I was geeked about it and so pumped. And she looked at me. This is when she's at oh the table, God. laptop. Wrapped in a blanket, heater on her. She looked at me and she goes, Dad, I would rather not have a party than have a Zoom party. That's stupid. <laughs> Headphones back on. <laughs> why is that? Why? It's And it's not like going to be that everybody's going to be on there for an hour and a half. It's like 10 minutes. Say happy birthday. Sing. Watch her cut the cake. Deuces. How Zoom party gonna over. Uh, she's going to be mm-hmm, 15. Mm-hmm. Not a chance. But I don't understand You why. missed that by about, I don't know, seven years. I'm... Uh, <laughs> I know. I don't know. Fifteen's hard. I mean, you could do as a party anyway, because I think that too. Because part of the party thing is you you tend to clicks. You know how the yeah. little clicks go. People kind of hang in their group, and so everybody shows up at the party, and they want to know if their friends are going to go to the party because nobody wants to be by themselves. Which everybody at a Zoom party essentially is showing up by themselves. Yeah, I know. And you can't go stand next to your buddy, and you can't really tell where your face shows up on a screen. So you're not even sitting next to your buddy on a screen. It's like that's what you walk into a room for, especially when you're 15. Unless, you know, some people, some kids, it doesn't matter. But you walk into a room, the first thing you look for are familiar faces or welcoming faces. And and you want to go stand by them. Yeah. And if you walk into a Zoom party by yourself, I hate walking into a conference call late. Uh, well, I, I hear And so you. it's like conference call and you hear boom, boom, boom. And it's like, Jill's oh, here. Jill's here. Jill's late. Shit. No. <laughs> Hi. Hey, oh. Hi. Hey, Jill. We're I waiting know. on you. How, I don't, I I don't even that think, feeling. I don't even think she has, she just thinks it's stupid. The whole, she didn't. Well, she's right. But what, <laughs> su- what really, <laughs> but what really sucks is that we, you know, it's not like we were planning something huge, but it's her quinceanera at 15. Mm-hmm. And we're going to still, you can still do that again. I know. I know. I know. It and we delay. I know. I know. We, I know, but I'm just trying to make this cause it's, yes. it just sucks that it happens right now during her birthday. It's a it big does. birthday and we've been planning something in the backyard, a big picnic kind of but thing. Then it's going to be even better because the weather is going to be nicer. That's a hard sell right now for her. So I'll just let it, I'll just, I'm just going to let it ride with the, that sucks. <laughs> and I may just surprise her with it and do it anyway and be like, you know what, this sucks oh for God. you, but I'm having a great time. So <laughs> I'm on a Zoom party. Come you wouldn't have made it to 15 you know, if it wasn't for me. You, so. should send, you should send her an invitation to, to your Zoom, Zoom party. party. And it's just you and her. I will. I'll send her. That's hilarious. <laughs> just, Hi, happy birthday, buddy. I'll be like in the other room. Yes. That's hilarious. <laughs> She'll hate you more. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. All right. So on that note, 
Now it's time for our guests. Okay. We have Laura and Justin on with us. And uh, first off, just a little introduction from you guys. Uh, we kind of talked about that we were going to be, we we're going to have you guys jump on because you did something that I thought Pat would be very interested in. But just <laughs> who are Laura and Justin? Um, okay. Well, I'm a high school English teacher. And I uh, work at Channel Three. I'm their uh, promotions producer. Excellent, excellent. So, so you're you're legit people with legit jobs, right? I mean, you're right. you're the real I, deal. I like to think so. <laughs> you're not you're not the crazies. Nope, not at all. But Pat's <laughs> going to be really happy to hear this because uh, th- this is so funny because this all ties into so many other things that have happened to me lately. And I know you're probably wondering how the hell is that possible. Um, <laughs> but uh, what did you recently do, or what did you insist upon doing, Justin? Okay, so um, I was sick of uh, wiping my behind for eight hours every time I took a deuce. Okay, this is absolutely not at all what I thought we'd be talking. We are thirty. <laughs> we are thirty-five seconds into this conversation, but and you already said where you guys work and went. Okay, go. Okay. This is awesome. They know all about me. They, they don't care. <laughs> so you were sick of wiping your butt after you dropped a and deuce. Now are you? Is this is this something new because of the recent um, difficulty in finding toilet paper as well? Uh, no, I, I I put this in in our apartment here back in August. You put what? What in? in? I put oh yeah, I put in a bidet. That is fantastic. <laughs> that is. Fa- are you kidding me? This is great. And I was the person when he bought it in August. I said, "Is this really an expense we need to be making right now?" And Thirty-five dollars. Oh, that's yeah, it. I'm really, I'm really tight. I'm really tight. That's- <laughs> So $35 to add a little bidet to your already existing toilet, that seems very inexpensive. I thought they were more expensive than that. No, this one, well, it's not It's not powered. It's like all off of the uh, the water pressure. Okay. It's not heated at all. <laughs> Pucker <laughs> so factor morning, Zulu, sometimes. I'm guessing. <laughs> sometimes I don't need my coffee. <laughs> wow. Wow. So it's week one into Corona, I did have to turn to him and when everyone was stealing all the toilet paper and I said, honey, you were right. You nailed it. Good time. <gasps> perfect timing, probably, Justin. You know, oh, six my. Six months later, I pat myself on the back. <laughs> right? So right. it's been about six months and you're you're pleased with this. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're still on a roll of toilet paper we put in that bathroom. That's fantastic. A week and a half ago. Because you yeah. just basically have to pat dry, I'm guessing. Yeah. Right. Okay. So <laughs> just, just there's, oh, got so many questions. So <laughs> first of all, the first time you used it, explain, was there a learning curve? Like, do you have there. to have like a- angle trajectory? Like, how does this work? <laughs> yeah, there is a learning curve. So you got to kind of like do the, um, it took me a few times to get it. <laughs> Well, maybe, maybe, maybe about a week to where I was like, okay, now it's actually working. Okay, okay. So where you felt what? confident in, in, in right. okay. So what, were you away. getting your hip? Were you shooting the wall? Like you that make first sure you're week getting... was kind of tough. I'm sure you're wanting. I'm no, sure I managed you're... to keep it like all inside the toilet, but you got to kind of do like the dog thing where you're scooting your butt like back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I get you. Yeah. Like totter or something. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. I, I can only imagine. Okay. Now the first time you used it, how long did it take you, Laura, before you actually were like, okay, I'm going to try this? Okay, so here's the confession. I'm too scared to use it. <laughs> you haven't used it yet? You still haven't yet? <laughs> no, and so I use, but I don't want people to think I'm a disgusting person. Like, I use <laughs> I use baby wipes, and I don't flush baby wipes. So I want people to think I'm clogging up the sewers, but because we empty out our trash every day. Okay. But, um, so oh my when he bought it, I was so scared because I thought <laughs> my, my bottom is going to get violated, like, by Old Faithful or something. <laughs> Right, because right. you're wondering how good is our water pressure? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and I was afraid of making a mess too. So I, he, every day he's like, "Please just go in there and try it." Like I'm so scared. I'm are so you scared. are you scared of are you scared of liking it too much? Um, no, I, mean, I, don't, I don't mean in that way. Oh my god, oh I don't mean god. in that, I don't mean in that way. Holy cow, no! I just mean like ruining it for every other experience in a bathroom uh, at other careful, places. Careful. You know what I mean? Not that yeah, other no, way. I, no, I'm not offended. No, but this is what happened was um, a few weeks ago, there was an infomercial on a bidet and um, this and the one that they showed on the TV, we were sitting there and I said, Justin, no way, I cannot do that. This probe like thing came out like you see on the UFO abduction movies. Yes, I'm and thinking like, Simpsons. And I thought right that's now. what's going to happen to me when I use it. And he's like, no, no, not ours, not ours. But I think it's, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. <laughs> that, you know what's funny? Okay, this is the, the funny part because after you sent a note to me to tell me what your husband had done. Yes. And, and I'm dying because just, and I know how Pat, he's talked about this a thousand times, that he wants to have a bidet. 
And yeah. it's like, and we even talked, you know, he's like, he's here in the office and I'm like, no, it's not, we're not going to. I have never dropped no. anchor here at the office. Just so you know, I have, I have never, and I never will. Oh my God. I, when I go home, there's, if I go home for lunch, I make it work. Oh my God. There's this, and this bathroom we have is very, uh, clinical. It's like, there's a toilet and there was no seat or no cover, no lid on the toilet. And oh. there was a urinal that, and they face each other. So. Yeah. It's just gross, right? And I was like, yeah. okay, we're going to fix some things. So we put a, a screen up so you can't see the urinal, and we put a lid on the toilet, and he's talking bidet, and I'm like, stop it. Just that's not going to happen. <laughs> if your wife won't do it, why would I? Right. And so, uh, but I just the other day started seeing when we were talking about the toilet paper shortage, I wonder how many other people are getting these. But the ads on Facebook, have you been seeing the Facebook ads for the bidets? Well, okay, so friends of mine that were were concerned about, they're getting down to their last roll of toilet paper. And so I said, you know, maybe get a bidet. And I had some people right away, they just ordered one on Amazon because they said I'm not going to fight the toilet paper thing anymore. But other friends have told me the prices have been hiked up quite a bit. There there are two different kinds that I've seen. I don't remember how much the one was. I sent you both of them, didn't I, Pat? Um, you sent yeah, me Yeah, I sent both those ads because there's one ad is they're not, handheld. And they weren't, they weren't that expensive. And one is like that works good. off the water pressure, and the other one is like an electric toothbrush sitting on the side, but it's a little handheld <laughs> thing. The thing with the hose, that scares me. <laughs> That's the one. Don't you, think that, don't you think that looks really messy? It does. And I'm thinking, yeah. I don't see But I think with practice, works. though, like Justin, I'm sure you can attest to, the first few times were probably um, a, a blank show, if you know what I mean. Just... <laughs> <laughs> but now you know where. But now you know where to hit. Now you know what to do, and it's probably not as messy and wet and gross as it was before. Oh yeah, yeah. It just takes a little practice. So. Yeah. Right. Is this and this is something that that Europe's way ahead of us on, right? Yeah. Oh, but yeah. it makes total sense. A hundred percent sense. I know. I think it. I think it should be something that we really grab onto. Maybe with this, hey, it'll help what? the United States grab onto this. I think it'll be part of the Green New Deal. I would hope so. Maybe AOC is onto something, right? Everybody gets yeah. a bidet. You know, because we have we have a handheld little shower dealy, and click number five is <laughs> is it's all the little center holes, and it's really powerful. But I don't. Want, but it's like if if that's what I'd be experiencing, just if I have to go in the random middle mm-hmm. of the day, I might. I'm gonna have to talk to Beth about this because this, this is the exact reason why she won't let him get a hot tub too. Just yeah. saying. Um. <laughs> Perfectly placed jets on the seat. Ayo. So, well, that's awesome, you guys. That's 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 great. But you, Laura, you have to try it. I I know I will. So, um, even with all this going on, we're still honoring our spring break that's coming up after this week. So that's a bucket list item. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out because I'm right? not going anywhere. Seriously, I mean, seriously, if ever there was a time when you no longer can say, "God, if I only had some time," right? Yeah, plenty of time. <laughs> so I don't. I want to kind of know what kind of couple you guys are. Is this when when you decide this is gonna happen? Is okay. Justin A gonna be in there with you? B at least on the other side of the door, or will he not even know? And you just tell him afterwards. He's well. I'll probably have my other side of the door because I'm scared. But we we've been married for 13 years, and we have never once seen each other on the john. Like, because okay. I, I I will not do it. That's how Beth, Beth and I will. She won't. We will not ever de- see each other on the john either. We're even the when she pees. Same way. Even when uh-uh. she pees, she shuts the door. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, that's yeah, probably for other never. reasons, Pat. No, she does. She, <laughs> she, she will not. She was like, I will never. She was. I will be mortified if you ever saw me pee. And but yet I'll go be I'll be peeing and she'll open the door and no big deal and I'll have to like angle my hand so it's like that's not I don't want to see her pee but it's like we're the same way so I, I was get just it. I was just kind of wondering if every time you get up to go to the bathroom that he doesn't go this time is this it is this it it's happening just for a while happen. I was you know about a month I was like hey did you huh this huh? one yet did I was you? like no 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 so, so, he'll, <laughs> so he'll know when it's gonna happen he won't be in the room but he'll know when it's gonna happen okay. and Justin you need to report back Laura you need to let us know how this yeah. is we want to do this again and, okay. and, and yeah and I might point out too you guys are moving you're in the process of moving tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow. congratulations yeah. Thank you. Thanks. From what I understand. We are so excited. It's still happening. Um, it's going to be the fastest closing. Five minutes. We've done everything online. And then I guess they just swoop you in and swoop you out. Nice. nice. That's yeah, great. So see, it's still, life still goes on. So you're closing on your house in the midst of all this. And then you get to move in. And have you already made your plans to transfer your bidet? To the new place. Yes. Yeah, I do the uh, okay. <laughs> my morning constitutional. And then it's getting disassembled. <laughs> <laughs> My morning oh my constitutional. I love it. I love it. You guys, thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you guys. Thanks Laura. for having us. Um, yeah. We're huge fans. I, I listen to you every day. Oh, Laura, thank you so much. Hey, I got to ask you real quick. Did you ever come into the studio once? 
No, I never have. God, I thought for I, sure that you had. I have not, but I'm the Hastings girl, so we have yeah, that connection. We do, we do. I know, I said, she's been with us like a long time, Pat. Yeah, that's she, awesome. Have, we appreciate that. In 2003, I moved here after college, and I, I got on, I loved you on morning radio, and I drive to work, so I've been with you since... <laughs> That would be 17 years. And it means so much that you right. reached out to us after your husband gets a bidet. I, I just, yes. It's like You're the first person that I it, saw. That, that is so right? sweet. It's like family. It's me kind of emotional. Oh, Misty. It's oh very nice. God. You guys, well, congratulations on the house. Have a great okay. couple of days and hopefully everything's just smooth sailing. All, all of it. All of it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. It was great talking to you. You, you, you too. too. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Pat and JT Podcast. A Parkville Media Production.